We are heading out to Hanoi Train Street, a very a must see um, world viral street uh, today. So this is all the in and out. All you see most of the video is just that uh, people drinking coffee and um, you know seeing the train pass by all the beautiful thing but this is how to get in uh, a way to get in and way to uh, negotiate and deal with these people so when we walk in here at uh, these uh, lady these people were the, the hustlers they tell you uh, what this lady is telling us hey the train is about to start you have to come with me come to my coffee shop or you can't come in at all and we were like, okay, uh, we're gonna co we're coming here to drink coffee, so yeah. might as well just, you know, yeah, go drink right coffee. Right so as we're walking in, we were, and there's other several people with us, um, uh, with other party. But then uh, we walk in and they come, and then she bring her oh us to her me. coffee shop. Yeah, follow wind. As follow we're walking wind. in right here, she's talking and talking. Okay, me, me, uh, win. Go. So as we're walking in, she's taking the other party to um, a, a find her coffee shop. We just want to take our time and uh, enjoy the view and experience it. So we just decided to go uh, walk slowly and so we can um, see what's going on and what is this viral thing that um, everybody in Hanoi have to go see. On both sides of the street is cute and it's beautifully decorated by lanterns. I love those little Hoi An lanterns that they have on both sides. But um, I have seen more beautiful scenery and pictures so we decided uh, we don't want to stay at this lady's coffee shop we wanted to go in deeper to see what else is there she is forcing us to stay at her coffee shop she said if you don't stay in my coffee shop you cannot go in here at all the train is about to start and um, we were like no we we don't want to stay here because we know there's more beautiful things and and there and we wanted to go in there we wanted to go more at more beautiful scenery and more where all the in and i mean all the in and out so we decided you know what we're gonna go in a different way this is we're not gonna pay money to drink coffee and experience this once in a lifetime for us and we're sitting at a a, a place that people are forcing us to sit so we go back out and uh, go um, and walk out and uh, we um, decided to, to go on another way. One thing about traveling in Vietnam or anywhere is that do not let other people push you around and tell you what to do. You know exactly what you want to do uh, when you don't feel right or when you don't feel like this, this is what you wanted don't do it at all and including this they know that you know the train is about to start so they're forcing us to um, kind of do what they want us to do versus what we wanted to do so we just walk out and um, just walk out of that place turn right and then uh, as soon as you turn right there's another red light and we turn uh, not even red right? light but there's oh. another small street that we can take another right and we walked, we took a, uh, like, not just us, this, like, several um, parties were doing the same thing. We didn't want to do what um, being told. So we turned right and then take another right. And so we walk right here. It's a very short walk. It's about, like, uh, three to five minutes walk in this shop on both sides. So it's not, like, a, a difficult walk or anything. So we walk for, on. Um, um, about three to five minutes it was actually it felt a lot longer but it was really short um, because it was so hot it was such a hot day that Mia and I that morning when we went to uh, sightsee around Hanoi we were so exhausted because of the heat that we decided yes go to the car and drive around and seeing things instead um, and then at, after we turn right another right as you can see on this side 
is so much more beautiful and more bustling on than on the other side and uh, the lantern is nice the cover is nice and they let us in i mean they were trying to multiple people were trying to hustle us and trying to talk to us into the coffee shop mm -hmm. but nothing like the other lady late uh, earlier that forcing us to go and um, they um um uh, asked us if we wanted to go sit on the um, second floor or on the first floor well I asked for second floor but they say they can sit us on second floor but it's a better experience sitting on the first floor if you have done both um, let us know which one you like better but this is our first time and uh, we asked them is it better on the second floor or better experience on the first floor and after um, the experience we would definitely say it is better on the first floor because we actually touched the train i don't think we can touch the train um, on the second floor so we enjoyed it on the first floor and we can feel the theme of the train <laughs> So after we told one of the guys that we know exactly, uh, we told him what we wanted and um, he took us around and we um, actually picked one that he uh, we like. Uh, he didn't have to uh, um, stop us to a certain area or we were felt like we were being forced to go into that particular rest um, restaurant or coffee shop. Um, so we... Um, well, I felt like I was not being forced to it, but it is fun uh, walking around here. It's beautiful. I enjoyed it, and um, I, I wanted to experience this, and everybody in the group actually enjoyed the experience and okay, the scenery. So, all right, after a bit walking, so we stop. Uh, I think we let the guy just go ahead of us, and we decide this is where we wanted to stay. Uh, it looked good. We enjoy. Uh, we we see all the lanterns and all the lights and all the people here. So we decided, hey, this is the place that we want to drink coffee, um, huh? and um, here we are picking this place. But our party was a large party, and we want to sit outside up front. Uh, so we have to split our party up one, uh, and we were there kind of late. So we have to split our party up one side. Um, up the train and the other side of the train half of our party and and that's where they have enough seats for us and so here we are trying to wait for them to get uh, all the seats ready for us So after we pick our planes and ask the people there to see what time uh, the train start and as you say 11.45 is when the train starts. We have a few more minutes before the train starts so here we are taking pictures and um, of course taking a lot and lots of pictures because we're probably just gonna be here yes one time in our lifetime so we wanted to make sure that we get all as many pictures as we could. And my husband had been uh, watching many videos and of this place and he had recommended us to come here and he said it's a place that we must go when we're in Vietnam so here we are going for him since he couldn't stand the heat or didn't want it to go because of the heat of Vietnam so we took as many pictures as we could and sent it to him so the girls was very excited to go to a place that daddy sent to us and it's very bustling and um, busy and beautiful okay so maybe too many pictures too much pictures according to Hannah and Mia's standard but according to my standard we didn't have enough pictures uh, I may have regret not taking as many pictures so here we are um, 
it's look i love all these lanterns and we're waiting for our drink to come and we're waiting for um the train to come as we were waiting and um, there's other vendors that are selling things and as we're waiting the train almost comes so they forced us to fold up the um the table to be able to uh, see the um, so the train can pass by And here it is again, another point of view. I'm not sure what is more amazing to see. If uh, it was the train more amazing to see the train which I see too many in my life well many in my life but it's interesting to see everybody's taking out their camera and taking pictures I mean I feel I, I understand the exhilarating feeling of like the train passing right in your nose right by your nose but uh, really uh, as you can miss okay. this um, it's, it's not something that you must do in Hanoi honestly it's just a train passing by um, I, I, I don't understand if I say I um, you don't you can miss it I'm not sure if you can use I, I'm not sure there's something I'm missing um, that are um, uh, it's the whole thing in here I, I don't I don't feel like this is the uh, I must do but anyway since we're here already so we must take more picture after the train again um, to send it to um, my husband uh, to see while we're um, um, experiencing the Hanoi train street that the viral Hanoi train street that everybody was talking about and they had many popular videos and it just us taking picture after the train. The funny thing is that right after the train, everybody just leave. Who care about coffee? Who care about the drink? People just walking out, and that was that. Um, um, I feel like people, most uh, everybody that I've talked to, because when we're sitting and waiting at the train, is just their first time, and probably their only time to go there. And people just like was not amazed after it i mean the street is beautiful the uh, there's a lot of more videos that are m a lot more beautiful i'm not good to go with vid doing videos so here it is after it's empty after the train pass the place is empty <laughs> <laughs>